What's up, this is your Commander Super here, and I'm playing Elite Dangerous. So I've just finished upgrading or equipping my Federal Dropship. And I'm down to $22 million. Oh my goodness. I'm feeling pretty good about it, though. It's a hard point. It's got three C-beam laser engineered with... Overcharged and thermal two E engineered cannon with overcharged thermal two F engineered multi cannon with incendiary and long range two D body modified beam laser efficient weapon to be seeker missile rack. So that's my weapons. Got a manifest scanner, wake scanner, point defense turret, shield booster. And the utilities and the core internals, everything's A. And frame shift drives five, power plants are six, and power distributor got two four grade hull reinforcements, a four A fuel scoop, a five E economy class class cabin, a five E cargo rack, so we can haul and rescue people. And travel far because we got a fuel scoop and operations limit. We can do reconnaissance missions for data, like hacking and things. And break piece else that comes with hatchbacker limpets and collection limpets, so we can commit space piracy in the air and break open people's ship and steal their shit. Three A frame shift drive interdictor, docking computer out of place, and a repair limpet, so we never have to go back to, to port. Nice, I'm feeling really good about it. I haven't done any missions with it yet, though. What I was going to do was go see the engineers. So I wanted to switch. I, what was pinned, I think? You can't change the exp experimental effects unless you visit them. I wanted to get power distributors for sure, because all our combat ships, including this one, have power issues. And the, the engineer, most of the engineers are pretty close. <clears throat> this ship has a short jump range though, but it will do it. It's not that bad. Good, good, we mapped that because I don't have a scanner. We're gonna go see the power distributor lady. It's like two jumps, what was that? 16, goodness, 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 goodness. <coughs> And the frame shift is already engineered to the max with range too. So how, why that's like that, I don't know. I guess they thought a fighter wouldn't need to, to jump very far. But there it is, 20 light years of jump. 1650 armor, armor rating 60. 40% kinetic resistance, 50% explosive resistance, 4% thermal. Oh, God. It's terrible. Terrible thermal resistance. It's easier to jump in this though than to use our explorer with the long jump range. And then we have three out of four, I think, because the other ones are shield shield generators engineered on a fighter. You can't pass that up. Not on a fighter. You can't pass power distributors, power plants, shields, and weapons. You can't pass them up. We might be able to find... Find a system that's under... Exploited by Aisling Duvall and do one of those missions. You can pick up the... The program, the preparation materials from any system she controls, and you deliver them to any system that they're prepping. So that's what we're gonna do while we're doing this, I guess. We'll try. <coughs> Need to apply the filter to the route. And we should have picked up like a passenger. This fuel scoop gets all the way up to 290. I love it. 
Got yeah, we should have picked up a passenger. To the Empire. Oh, it doesn't look like there's many on the route, does it? Almost none. We can solve that though. We're gonna go to this one. How far away is this? 51 light years? No, we can't do that. What about this one down here we just passed? There. 30. We'd have to replot the whole course if we go to that. There's nothing close. Like, we can't even jump there. Because there's nothing in between. It's going to say not can't, can't find route. So let me select one of these. Um, if we're going to have to replot the course, I might as well pick one up higher. Amphibolates. Ambiliates. The umbilical cord of the galaxy. Okay. I'm going to none. And plot a route to there. It's going to be hard. What's really going to be hard is to find a prep system in the route. Oops, that's not the right task. Come on. Preparatory system. Yeah, our rebuy is up to 5 million now. And most of these parts on this one cost, well, the key parts cost 16 million to 33 million apiece. So that could only grow exponentially per ship now. Well, not per ship, but per tier exponentially. Per ship, the next three or four ships will be just like this. But then there's a tier jump. A tier jacket, mate. Prep system. So we take prep materials to these systems. That's a lot of map viewing, I must say. We could just pick a close one. Like, there's one 25 light years. But we're not close enough to the... Close enough to the... To picking up the pamphlets yet. Scanner, scanner on the right. Three hundred and forty-three tons of fuel per second. Man, with, with that we could refill on every star. I'm surprised we didn't get full on that star. Scooping. Engage. Never been engaged. Ladies. Your scooping. Your scooping complete. Up, man, it was far just to get to Ambili Yates.
Don't hate and billiate. Appreciate the ambiguity. Oh, we so we haven't been here. And there's 23 planets. Get away from the sun, man. Well, you shouldn't be, cause I'm flying pretty fast in the opposite direction. And I have been for some time now. Hello. This is all we do, we can't scan any water, all we can do, we can't scan any water worlds, or earth likes. Although we could probably have fit the scanner, but it's another one, th one thing that we would have to put into two slots, and you know, if we have two slots, we should put two class two things in it, you know, high fighters don't need a scanner anyway. But it is the frivolousness that is the life of video games. Like our FSD upgrade, a fighter should choose faster boot sequence over range. You know, so you can get out of the way in emergencies. But we'll, we're going to be taking on missions ahead of our rank, pilots ahead of our rank, and we'll never have to leave in a hurry. Neither one of those. That will never come in handy when it should. And that's why it's in the game. What the fudge? Fuck, man. Sitting on my lap. Smoking a blunt. Sitting on my lap. Sitting out front. Sitting on my lap. Give her ass a pat. Sitting on my lap. She don't give no dap. This is, that's not a real song. I just made that up. Wasn't even any Earth Lakes or Water Worlds anyway. That's only what, like forty thousand dollars? That's too much. That ain't worth my time. I can't buy fuel for forty thousand dollars. Look, we're draining two and two point two five an hour. I hope that was just because we're jumping. That's a lot of fuel to be burning. We need a fuel efficiency category at the end of here. No, it's back to 2.25. 2, 2 it's a good thing I put such a big fuel scoop on here. Well, I'll tell you. That's insane. We use the scanner, it goes up to 2.32 as the stations and settlements. Rowett Lab has no trade. Adam's vision is close to one with trade. 77 is critical. Since when is that? The meter goes all the way up to 200. And 77 is bad. We don't start taking damage at 130. A little early. A little early, babe. 90? And then you still got another 40 before you take damage. Now when we finish jumping in, we're up to 50 degrees. 75 is only 25% more.
<gülüyor> Eramız biz ya. Weird how the planes fly when they're in going fast. They should be moving like that, but I guess the scales is what the problem is. When something's going fast, it can't maneuver the way that they show the ships maneuvering. Especially going at the speed of light and higher, that's if you're into crazy. Any move would send you into such a, a spiral and Like you rifling and a bullet of a gun. Core Dynamics Yankee Oscar Uniform. We are pleased to have you at this Imperial facility, Commander. Access is now granted. Please head directly to Docking Bay 03. We have engaged auto docking protocols. Lombardo docking. Damn, that took forever. I had the game suspended for a minute and everything. All the missions would require us to come back to this place. I don't want to do that. We have to be in a control system. It's only one jump away. So that's cool, but we're not going to get many merits for such a small load. And I don't want to lose my passenger rack. Oh, if we defect, it used to say one day, now it's two days. They chase us down for two days to kill us. What about if we just leave? It doesn't say the difference. Unfortunately, we're not going to make it to the 50 million because we got to go through every single person to unlock the blueprints. I don't know in what order or anything either. I don't have a list of what they unlock in front of me. I really want these prismatic shields though. 
Even more so now that we're in a fighter at the moment. We've got to get this. We've got to get this. We've got to get to this engineer. It's probably more important than these damn flyers. We need a, a, a vessel meant to haul things to get the flyers. I'm thinking about just turning around. It's not even going to be worth it after all these docking and undocking. Even if we do find a place on the way to easily drop it off, it's time consuming for a small amount, a tiny amount of flyers. We'll probably get like 20 merits, or probably two merits per flyer, I think it was. So that'd be 64 merits. We need 250. It's not even a third. I mean, not even a quarter. I mean, it's not even a third. It is a quarter. Michael Station. Give me the flyers, man. Give me the flyers. <clears throat> 32. 15 at a time. Fast track. Fast track. I'm going to pick up another cargo hold here if I can. I'm not in a hurry for a passenger cabin in a fighter after we just did that 10 hour. 
to a ride. I'm not going to be doing that anytime soon, so we can have it transported later. Just more things to collect at home. We're going to leave the six shield, especially on the fire. We can pick up the cargo rack. Another 32. Store this one. Now I'm tempted to put these hall modifications up. Because we're just going to engineers. After that, we're going to the next engineer. So if we get all these cargo racks, all these to be cargo racks, we could get up to 250 while we're on visiting the engineers. So we're going to get... Oh, these are military slots, but, so they can only be these three things. Let me show you. Hall reinforcements. We don't need hall reinforcements. We don't need module reinforcements. And we don't need shield banks. I could get rid of both of these hall reinforcement packages, and I would still be all right in combat. But we can't upgrade them to these. That wouldn't be bad. I mean, it's not going to hurt anything. Maybe there's other things we can upgrade also. Car rack fuel scoops in A. Olympic controllers in B. Can we upgrade that to A? Those are really worth it. They don't seem like it because, you know, they're not fast paced. You're not going to lose money. You don't explode. But the convenience of having to put out four limpets at once instead of two and having them last a long time or work quicker is awesome. It really is. They don't have any improvements for it. Frame shift's already a 3A. We don't need a 3A. Docking computer only comes 1E and 1F. So everything's good. Maybe we can upgrade a weapon. No, maybe. We'll have to re-engineer them, though. 2E cannon. Can we get a 2 D cannon or something better we cannot we can and it's gimbal too so draws more power and from the distributor as well but more dps and damage uh, we're gonna have to we can't trade it in we're gonna have to buy this outright okay well yeah i can't be passing these things up like this in a fighter so we'll store it the engineer over here and we're gonna now we gotta revisit the can because we don't have any can of blueprints pinned. Well, we might. I'll have to check. Two F multi cannon engineer. Can you give me a D? No, they can't. They only have another two F that's turreted and multi crew. I don't know why it's better than ours because ours is engineered. That's why. Okay, so draws more power because <laughs> it's more powerful. We already got a 2D beam laser. Can you beat that? Can you beat my 2D beam laser? You can match it, huh? I'll stick with the one I have that's engineered. Can you beat my 3C beam laser? You got a 3C and you got a 3D, but you can't be. I'm not paying 20 million for multi crew and turret. I'm fine with the gimbals. So, and I'm engineered. I'm bummed. Stay there with mine. Thanks for wasting my money for buying that. What about missiles? Can you give me a two-way miss secret missile rack? What's the difference between this secret 2B, this secret 2B, and the one that's installed? This is the exact one that's installed, I guess. This one is better. Oh, because it's a regular missile rack. Fires. Non-seeking missile. Okay. Well, we got something upgraded. What about utilitary mounts? Shield A booster. Yeah, we can get the shield booster it mounted, too. On a fighter, how could you pass it up? These don't have any different classes. They just are what they are for the most part. These are all done. Optional internal, we got it. Hmm, I mean, we can't get rid of the fuel scoop. <laughs> I don't really want to get rid of the shield. Because we're going to need it when we need to engineer. When we go to the engineer. Okay, that's good. We can pick up more pamphlets. Double our pleasure, double the fun. Fast track till my money is done. Money, money is gone. And there we go. Now there's the prep materials. I 
We're number one ranked. Is this results from Galnet Galactic Power Standings? Yeah. Today's the last day of the cycle. Damn, it seems like it was just yesterday. And why does it say one week and four days? It's supposed to be every seven days. Preparatory systems. Consolidation. This one. Why don't it tell me who is fully prepped and who is not anymore? You have to get there for that. I'm ready for the next cycle. Like, at the end of last cycle, all of these were fully prepped already. Why isn't is it not? Oh, because we got to vote. After they're all prepped, we got to vote which one we consolidate. I see. So we could just, just pick the closest. What about Bochica? It's like it's 40 light years. I don't know if it's on the way to the engineer or not. I can't see the engineer either. Uh, it's it's not it's a uh, farther away from the engineer. We're going up to Word, I think. We'll do this, and then we'll leave the rest for accident. Oh, Chica. No, if we get to the engineer and we're able to pick up materials then we will or if we stop somewhere to refuel or something then we'll do it this is the only one we're going to go out of our way for two jumps three jumps it's all right we're getting a little bit of money not nearly as much as if we had a detailed surface scanner, but whatever. So there it is, I thought you knew. Shift drive charging. Mass locked. All right, here we go. Let's do it. And then the fluffy bunny. You are now clear of the station. Imperial Flight Operations Bureau now signing off. We there yet? I gotta, eat. I gotta be. We we'll do something. Never mind.
scan complete. Frameshift drive charging. There we go. Takes a lot of fuel in this motherfucker, I'll tell you that. Per jump and just cruising, take a lot of fuel. Fuel complete. Don't really need to be traveling in it though. After we drop these off, we can take them right back and head somewhere else we want. I mean, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be dumb to have our cargo full of them when we left. Because we know, because of what we're doing, the closest we can get to multitasking without completely get going off course, you know? Just have some of those stored up. Not really a multitasking job for us today. Not really. At least we're pulling in with the full tank. Yeah, any old station will do. I'm not landing. I'm not on a planet surface though. There's one station here, 12,000 light seconds away. Good Lord, I'm landing on the surface, it looks like. This one is 3,000, that's a little better. <clears throat> Even the thrusters, the, the 4A thrusters were 13, 16 million. We started with 80 million, down to 20, 60 million upgraded, just for the parts alone. Not the ship, cost of the ship, just, not all, was it all the parts cost to get? It must have been all the parts, 60 million. The ship only cost 14, then to make it a real ship cost 60, that's crazy, it's crazy. It was a flying, flying dumpster when we first got it. Now it's a flying tank, a flying APC. Like, we've had cargo, ships that could hold more cargo, but they weren't like a flying armored helicopter. So this is really like a thematic ship, for sure. I mean, it doesn't hold a lot of cargo. You can hold 32, and then it's heavily armored, heavily armed. And, but we'll kick some ass to defend that cargo. I wonder if we can get a fighter base. That would be cool. We don't. Well, no, it's another frivolous thing. It will never need one entire game. I guess they thought, you know, to counteract multiplayer, single players can have AI fighters pop out of their planes, but I, I haven't gotten to the end game, but I don't haven't seen a need for it. And I don't see, I don't see where it being a necess necessity ever. You know, just make the single players feel loved like the multiplayers and the squadrons and the wings and the fleet carriers and the, all the online community type things and the single players got nothing. Don't even get the Odyssey update. 
because PC players got no choice. Like, PC players are more likely to be multiplayer users than live service users. Console players will just buy a disc and be done. I like the name too. Like if it was more aerodynamic and more like a fighter instead of a helicopter, I'd like the look. Cause I like the heavily armored look. Not bad though. Dropship gotta be bulbous. Look at the butthole on that planet. Look at that little butthole there. Oh, that's a cute little puckered out butthole. Pippin Beach? Pippin Reach. I don't know what that is. Mm, I don't see it. Pippin Reach, top one. High security faction facility. Surface facility. Uh, anyway, it's full. Oh, look, it's got little freckles everywhere. I haven't seen that before. That one's got a bolt hole on it too. Brazilian Empire Pirates, that sounds like a player community. Brazil is not a thing in this universe. I would guess. No, uh, search shipyards. It's gotta be able to carry a fighter bay. Fucking drop ship. What's it gonna drop out? Fighters. For tactical and special force deployments. Federal drop ship. One large, four medium. So that it can take a beating. Okay, I'm reading it right here. So it says it's good against higher tier ships. It has weak shielding and other poor mobility. Difficult to use against our ship, the Vulture. Good for a pi bounty hunter or a pirate. Mostly just a stepping stone on the path to a stronger vessel. Has a lot of cargo as an explorer. It will work as a trader because it's got a lot of cargo and armor. And working as an explorer is one of the most worst ships in the role with a poor jump range of 19 light years or so. 
the second lowest jump range in the entire game, being only a fraction higher than the Federal gunship. Needless to say, the driveship is a subpar, cumbersome choice as an exploration vessel, even after engineering. It's an excellent miner, four medium hard points for one each mining for each of the mining tools, and then the three the three slides for your weapon. And for self-defense, small size, great cargo space, and good defenses make it a fantastic miner. It can be a miner's next stepping stone after the keel back. I do have a keel back. Its only downside is the lack of a fire hanger and its limited jump range, which can make reaching specific mining zones a chore. What does a fire hanger have to do with mining zones? I'd like to find out because I'll put one in our keel back and use it. I think just to defend you while you're mining, like, you know how you get accosted by pirates? You, you let your fighters out and you can continue mining while they go kill the pirates. They're all always low level, easy guys anyway. So my guess is... There you go, hope you're happy. 64 toilet papers. And this place is already way over prep. 17,000 out of 50. My latest contribution, we got 71, 70, 69 merits. Out of 64 pamphlets. That's a weird, weird for sure. Now we can pick them right back up? No, we can't. Must be a control system. We delivered expansion material or something. We can do some commodity trading. There's not a lot of valuable things to reactive armor. It's consumed by this place. Why are they selling it? They're selling it. Why are, why are they selling profit it bought at? Well, it, they've, they've got the information reversed. This tab should be the buy tab. This tab should be the sell tab. This sells the profit it sold at the galactic average. Well, I obviously can't sell it because this is the buy tab. It says property of bought at the galactic average, so I obviously can't buy it because this place don't have it, so they're not selling it. But whatever, I'm leaving. I'm not gonna f fuck with your nickel and dimes. I got shit to do. Don't even need the money. Who is this lady? Where is this lady? Well, we'll get to the worry about it when we get to the system. It looks like we were pretty close. Ten jumps, we're not that close, and it's a different one than I thought. Isn't it? No, it's the same one I thought. It's the closest one, and it's ten jumps. Right, what a pain in the ass. I need a drink now. It's double convergence. Four beam lasers on one trigger, one beam laser on the other. We just got the two, the two, the medium hard points on one trigger, the large hard points, small hard points on the other. Why would you need convergence? You are clear to resume own navigation. Imperial Flight Operations Bureau, now signing off. Timeship drive charging. How do I do mine? Oh, wow, I got all the scanners and the beam lasers on the same thing. That's not the convergence I want. I thought that looked like a lot of text. The scanners are supposed to be different than the weapons. And they are. Well, nope. These three scanners are double. Okay, now we got... Collector limpets, repair limpets, recod limpets, hatch hatchbreaker limpets, combat scanners, and 
system scanners on the combat scanners on the left, system scanners on the right. Then we got the just a mix match beam lasers both on one trigger, everything else on the other. But it does not say the difference between oh, no, on this one it does. It says that our secondary's got a blue square up by the top of the, the title where it says secondary A blue square and then on the right it says orange square primary A. I gotta try to memorize memorize it the seconds on the left trigger. Because I, I, I keep having to switch sides on accident. I never get to remember. Every time I get a new ship, I change the weapon. The guy's got a cool, cool crosshairs because he's got. It's like he's got four boxes in his crosshair and the orange one in the center, four blue all on the outside, symmetrical. Well, asymmetrical. Show me your crosshair, Art. <laughs> what a pain in the ass, traveling this fast across the galaxy. Jesus, that far away did we get? We'll wait to the next one. Oh, here it is. Yeah, pretty damn far. Heel scooping. That was quick and easy. That was so fast. I love it. Charge it up, baby. Oh, we didn't do the planetary scan, did we? Surely did not. Probably not worth it. I think it's only 40,000. Our average is out something like that. Less than six digits. Less than six figures. At least we won't have to do it. If we come through with the Explorer, we can go straight to the water worlds and the Earth lakes. And other systems, I guess, because there wasn't none there. Oh, we can mess around with the filter too, see if that helps us any. And that's a lot of fuel for jumping. We're only going 20 light years. That's wild. That's over a quarter of a tank. That's almost a third of a tank per jump. And it's one of the shortest jumps in the game. I'm not using all these weapons right now. What is, what is conserving all, using all this fuel? I don't get it. We're out of time. Let's see how that message is a little annoying. I got the data link scanner and insert discovery scanner on the same button. Warning. Temperature critical. Fuel complete. Oh my god, another pointless system scan here. Oh, 
Uh, well, I guess if we do it to every system, it adds up. It's triple to give us an like extra quarter of a million or something like that. Which now to us is worth it, but it wasn't at one point. Scan and as soon as we get back to business, it's not going to be worth it. Just like the quarter of a million dollar combat missions aren't worth it. We gotta get some more minerals by mining for our engineering parts. We need, because they require minerals. We can't look at that right now. But we've already used, like we had a good supply and I used most of them to engineering these weapons and everything I showed you in the beginning of the video. I need to put the wake scanner on the da data link scanner. Scan. The right discovery scanner alone. It's the most frequently used. It's good enough. Good enough. Now let's look at it. It's the antimony, arsenic. Arsenic's what we needed. We had eight of it, but I just engineered some things. So back to three. Boron, we only have three cadmium. Those are the things we need. We got all the data scans, the encoded things. We've got tons of those things. Not this tab, typically. We maxed out. Oh, no, we maxed out. What did we max out? The parts you get at signal sources and the parts you get from combat. Yeah, we maxed those out. So when we kill people, we don't get any goodies anymore. Five, five super bonus. How many jumps left? Seven. Wow. This has been your boy Super Playing Elite Dangerous. I'm glad you watched it. Help me out a lot if you could like, comment, and 